Dash Reimagined, Exploring Autodesk Sketchbook. We have our own Pritha Dash for this session. We want this session to be as interactive as possible, so feel free to unmute your microphone and ask questions if necessary. Thank you for joining us, and now we will start this session in a few minutes. can you check if my sound is clear enough yes it is you are perfectly audible uh okay it's okay it's okay actually thank you So guys, I guess I can start, right? <laughs> yes, let's go. Hello, Pita. Hey, hey, everyone. So hello, everyone. Welcome. To I hope you're doing very well and staying at home. So uh, today we'll be exploring sketchbook with me, and I hope we can learn something, right? So are you ready? <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay. So first off, 
লাইক ডিজিটাল আর্ট শুরু করার আগে ইউ ওয়ান নো হোয়াট হার্ডওয়্যার আই ইউজ তো আই বেসিক্যালি ইউজ মাই ল্যাপটপ অ্যান্ড ইটস আ লেনোভো সেভেন টোয়েন্টি বাট দ্য গুড থিং অ্যাবাউট দিস ইজ আই ক্যান কনভার্ট দিস ইন টু এ ট্যাবলেট but i'm both the scene i'm not trying to sell sell my laptop here i'm both the scene that you have to use a uh a tablet or anything a uh, mobile phone is just fine you can use your pc or desktop or laptop anything is okay uh like mouse the korte paro i used i remember i used to draw with mouse back in like uh 2012 jokhon ei fancy stuff chilo na so uh that's about it like je kono kichu is fine mobile phone is okay uh you can use your fingers to draw or uh, if you have a tablet or ipad it's very good to go tarpor hocche software that i'm using as you know from the title i'm using a uh, sketchbook so sketchbook uh, is a very good for beginners because it onic user friendly plus it's a free in all platforms in all operating system so that's about it so let's start right mane ad deri na kori so I'm going to open up Autodesk Sketchbook. So this is the interface that I'll see, and I usually use my stylus pen right over here. So it is just kono charge there hassle nai. Mani ekta battery lagale, that's uh, good to go. Unlike Apple pencils, I guess oi gula charge the lagale. So this is the interface that we'll see. Um, ekhane hotche. সব সেলফ এক্সপ্লেনটারি অনেক কিছু আর মানে আমি বলবো না যে এটা কি এটা কি লাইক সব আই ওয়ান্ট ইউ গাইস টু এক্সপ্লোর থিংস রাইট ওভার হেয়ার যেটা আমি করছিলাম লাইক আই ডেন ওয়াচ এনি টিউটোরিয়ালস অন স্কেচ বুক জাস্ট নর্মালি এক্সপ্লোর করতাম যে আচ্ছা সো লেটস স্টার্ট থ্রি থিং থ্রি ইম্পর্টেন্ট থিংস একটা হচ্ছে ব্রাশ এডিটার তারপর আরেকটা হচ্ছে কালার and layer ei tin ta hocche khubi important uh, like jetai create kori these are the things you will need so ei color editor er moddhe this is very self explanatory je kono color nite parba saturation light dark shob kichu korte parba and there's this good thing about this eta like small minimize korle there's this thing eta hocche um, this is called color pack so eta ja kore যে কালারটা আছে ওইটা শো করে প্লাস ইফ ইউ স্লাইড ইট ডাউন ইট চেঞ্জেস দ্য স্যাচুরেশন অ্যান্ড লাইটনেস সো একই কালারের সেম জিনিসটা চুজ করা যায় লাইক ইউ গেট ইট রাইট সেম কালারটা আবার অন্য লাইট শেড ও ডার্ক শেড চুজ করা যায় সো দ্যাটস অ্যাবাউট ইট আর এটা ক্লিক করলে হচ্ছে চলে যাবে বাট ইউ ক্যান ফাইন্ড ইট এগেন অন দিস ইউ আই টগ so i can take about color editor there's that layer editor could be important and brush editor hotche like size and opacity like size boro choto and stuff joto ichha and opacity like aste aste aro halka hobe and stuff so that's about it ei tin ta jinish thakle if you can use it well je kono kichu is possible so i'm going to create a new sketch now Uh, our interface me i want you guys to explore deshi bolar kichu nai ar arekta jinish i want to mention ekhane hocche tumra ichha korle ei je um built in je screen gula dewa ache ogulo use korte paro jemon a4 uh, b5 or whatever but ei gula choose korle je eta somoshya hoy hocche uh, when you try to upload it into any social media or anything a resolution gula khubi kome jay and it just distorts everything so what i i do is create a custom layer wait so i create a custom layer ekhane j i usually uh, draw mandalas and stuff so i'm a square sketch uh, paper use for the kubi pochondo kori so i use uh, either 5000 by uh, 5000 or 8000 by 8000 pixels so eta gulo jeta hoy customize korle even the resolution like drops down a bit tao eto beshi kharap hoy na so it's just good to go so clicking on create and we have a new sketch um pad here so firstly amra ekhon ekta project korbo i was uh, craving donuts so i thought i would create a donut for you and uh, step by step dekhabo je how i do it so let's get into it so first off jeta ami korbo um i will choose black to sketch out 
So wait a minute. Um, okay. So firstly, ekhane hotche a panel to tackle we see shapes. So ekhan theke ami hotche donuts are round, right? So round j circle shape ta ota nilam. So ami opacity increase kore dichi from the brush properties. Are I draw this uh, circle for donut. So that's about it. So tarpur hotche circle er bitor there's this. Uh, Another circle for donor. And when you see it on the two uh, offside, so now what I do is uh, AJ kind of transform option. No, not transform actually. That's a transform option. I get to uh, align the uh, object on the page. So it uh, me align for the middle. So that's okay. So I'm going to transform for the same layer. Uh, so what I would do is select a J. I would just use the lasso tool over here. Our tarpure eta ke have a cut for it. Then I'll go to the transform option. Tarpure take a middle arm like this. So I click on OK. So eta chamar skeleton like the donut is skeleton. Eta our main drawing na. So what I would do is layer eta chamar layer number one. So layer number one is opacity. I mean, on comma, just so I can just see it where I have to put everything and all. So it's a yellow. Then I will choose a new layer. J can add the layer. There's this new layer. Now what I do is select a pencil or brush, whatever you call it. Our A brush gula, you can get, this is like an easy uh, access to brushes. You can get all your brushes on, the brush library, Jeta Pochundo has so over the years, these were the brushes I used. So I just transferred it on the brush panel right here. So I'm going to close that in. So at home, what I do now that I have this uh, structure of the donut, when donuts are not very perfect. So Agdom perfect cycle, China, I, I just want things to look more or less like a donut. So I'm going to check the different color to score. Let's say I choose uh, this color right here. So what I would do is draw over it. Now, as you can see, I'm not drawing on the previous layer. Check blue after highlighted here. So I'm not drawing on that. I'm a new layer now. A layer, like the So now what I'm gonna do is draw the uh, donut uh, outline. Arikta Jinish, I wanna uh, mention that if I draw like, wait, size Arikta Bare, I think all right, two. That's about it. So, if I draw it with my free hand, like a two pack up the hover, but that's okay. But I, what I can do is I can smoothen the line using this uh, stroke stabilizer. On stroke stabilizer, jeta kore, ita hoche. However you draw it, it's gonna uh, average the points on it and tarpur it acta smoother stroke hobe like. It gets smooth, but eta chara, it's very clumsy. So ami hotche stroke stabilizer use korbo ekhane, and I'm gonna to zoom in with my mouse like this. Tapra me ta ke ahon outline korbo. Like doesn't have to be perfect, just the donut shape hole. I'm very satisfied. So I'm just going to draw it. Now you see it a stroke stabilizer egg them round way gets it, but that's not what I want. So I mean just back undo the and undo option drop to each other. That's a plus. So stroke stabilizer off core di chiapatuto. That was just for uh, mentioning J Uta the ki koraje. So I'm just like to imperfect donut chachi. Up so I can move this. So it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It's just it's a donor. There's that. I call the middle tower. I zoom in just so get a little bit. There you go. So I'm a donor. Dota, I guess. So, 
a layer ta, what I'm going to do is remove this layer. And to remove this layer, all you have to do is take your mouse or whatever you are using to operate. Just drag, take to click, press kore, drag on this delete layer. You can see option option, you can see I'm just, I mean, press kore, hold kore, drag put the stages. So drag, delete layer, shesh. And this is the first layer again. But I'm going to choose a, a color for it. Color, you can create another layer like eta jamon ekhane drag kore jodi ami dei it will duplicate the layer again tarpor eta ko abar color korte pari but that's not what i'm going to do i'm going to color in this layer so for that um, i'm going to take on sorry i'm going to take on the fill option a fill option e gear uh, since i uh, chose this color ami eta theke ar ektu lighter ekta color choose korbo for my dough and then I'm going to just click like this. So I'm a donut gray, yes, sir. So that's my dough. But Tomar Juti Mon Haje, I have to darken up a bit. The whole a saturation, Ajay. You can slide up the bar. You see, it gets ash and lighter. Aroveshi, that were light and darkness. I think I do dark for me. So I choose uh, this color. Uh, yeah. I think that'd be enough. Or not. <laughs> I'm very picky, sorry. <laughs> so, mm, trying to find the perfect shade, guys. Don't judge. <laughs> so, that's about it. I'm a donut color, I guess. Now, what I'm going to do is shade this because it looks very plain, like Jamun Jenny, very cartoonish. So, what I'm going to do is see this lock option i'm going to lock this so what this will do is lock for our body i can only draw uh sorry i was on the paint option so ink nila mami so locker for it i can't draw outside of it i can only draw over here so it again so i can take i mean i had this brush uh I guess dusty airbrush. You can find all the brushes on the brushes library. So dusty brush ne. I'm going to choose a darker tone. Maybe come Let me try. Uh, opacity, size, shock to highest. So like all quick to color her. I want it to be darker. So acon will shade. So first day I am inner part ta nichi. just shading it, you see, it took to shade hotche and I'm not going outside of it. If you don't select this lock option, you see, you see, so I'm going to undo that, lock the layer and I'm going to shade the inside of it. It's like oil fry coat, you see, our donut. <laughs> That's about it. I have to reach outside. Yeah, more or less like a dough for the donut. Can I will choose a lighter shade, maybe here. Mm, yeah, this one. And I made her like highlights bibo right here and here on two sides yeah on a subtle like the highlight and next part is i mean arikta layer to score and now it's time for the frosting so it's the same procedure frosting a journal i'd probably choose a pink frosting because why not uh, so pink frosting at Jonah, I would just uh, go and choose my stroke stabilizer again. And you see, I'm on a different layer now. Because if I have to change my mind again, like if I draw over it, if I change my mind and try to remove it, so I don't want that. So better safe than sorry. So I'm new layer 
I'll choose my uh, ink pen and then I'm going to draw the frosting. I think that's uh, okay, I guess. But if I need to change a little bit, then I will use the transform option. And transform option, I will select on distort. Distort option, if I feel like uh, the right side needs a little more frosting, then I will just drag for the right side. Yeah. And I think it's okay looking so far. I to drag for it. So this is, I'm on the distort option and I'm going to click OK. So outer frosting done, I put inner frosting, same way, stoke stabilizer on gray. I didn't like that. So same way. So yeah, nah, this doesn't look good. Wait. I want to take Now, same with it. I choose a little light, lighter than this pink, just so at a contrast again, looks like a border. So I'm going to choose the fill option. That's where I'm going to click on it. You see, I'm on the frosting done. And now, in the same way, frosting air layer, I may lock for the lamp, and I choose this uh, dusty airbrush thingy and that for me are to dark color to score I just shade this maybe darken this a bit the outsides insides Okay, so frosting and shading, I think, done. Now I'll choose a lighter color to shade and highlight. Same data spot there. I mean, highlight for this data spot there. I may donut to highlight for some, so I think it looks good. So yeah. So Akon Hochama there, frosting layer done. So you see, I'm the same way they just frosting layer tabanam. So the next step is also the same thing. We add a new layer. This is the thing. We just add new layers just so many agar layer it just doesn't just merge up. But you can do that as well. So next layer, I'll be choosing some syrup to go over my donut. So I'm going to choose a darker pink color, almost like a magenta. And I'm going to use my stroke stabilizer again. I just draw a syrup for it. You see how it, when you like them average course, it smoothens it up. So that's the good thing about stroke stabilizer. So I'm adding my syrup on. Oops. So I guess hoise like I to detail at for it. Um, okay. okay, I think it's more than okay. Same layer. Right? Okay. The same babe, I'm going to fill it in with a lighter pink than the previous one.
easy. Super easy. Same with it. I'm going to lock the layer. It's just same thing over and over again. So I think you get the idea, right? So I'm going to choose the same brush again. Like this is how I made. So choose a darker color for shading. I'm going to, I'm going to decrease the size a bit and shade the frost, uh, sorry, syrup a bit. This is my syrup layer, by the way. Mm. Like on its subtle, like the shade, just so it looks a little bit like um, any real air model. A little bit realistic, I guess. So yeah, that's about it. Choose a lighter shade again to create some highlights. So yeah, I hope you can see, right? So done with my uh, syrup. Now I want to spice things up, add some sprinkles over it. So I'm going to create a new layer. And for the sprinkles, uh, you can manually just uh, add some sprinkles over it. But I, I'm going to share a technique that you can use just so you don't have to uh, draw it over and over again. So I'm going to choose a pink color at first, a lighter pink, and just draw a mini sprinkle. That's where I'm going to change the hue and make a purple one right over here. That would Abar change the um, saturation, make a blue sprinkle. That would Abar to make a lighter blue a green one like a rainbow sprinkle i want rainbow sprinkles on my donut so yeah so eight day sprinkles now i don't want to draw over and over again like that would take so much time so what i'm going to do is go to my layer and press the first layer that uh, we are working on and drag it to duplicate layer so once you duplicate the layer, the there's new layer. I can a new layer ta ami the transform option again. I can move it. You see the old layer is right there, and I can move the new layer. So I'm going to place it uh, somewhere maybe over here, and I would repeat the process like this. But aru simpler ekta way If I duplicate the layer again. And if I move it a bit and maybe rotate this a bit because shop same like the LA, there would be this would be very consistent, but sprinkles aren't consistent. So I click on OK. And then what I'm going to do is click on the first layer and drag down and it says merge with the low. So it a meet it merge core for you. So this is one layer now. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate this March layer so that I have a bigger piece of my sprinkle over here. So I place it somewhere over here and I rotate this a bit and place it maybe here. So yeah, uh, then I'm going to repeat the process. You see? It's okay. Sprinkles by the poor guess that's okay. It just gets messy. I'm going to repeat the process and you can merge the layers to get a bigger piece one by one. Like if I merge it with this one, I may have to add a bigger, larger chunk bubble. And if I duplicate the layer, I can use that. Like see, I have a bigger piece now. So I want to rotate that a bit so that it doesn't look very planned or anything. So yeah, I do, I'm going to choose, so you can go back on layers, which is a great thing. And I'm going to duplicate this smaller sprinkle portion and I'm going to click on transform. 
and then I'm going to take that and drop it right here because this part was looking very bare. Now to clean this mess up, you can go uh, over each layer and I'll just use this eraser tool right over here. But I'm going to, to um, share a simple trick which you can do. Little shop gula like donut layer, there's frosting layer, there's glaze layer. So I want to create a sprinkle layer by merging all of the sprinkles together. So then I have to, I don't have to go to each layer and remove this uh, sprinkles that is outside of the donut. So now I'm going to choose this hard eraser. There's the soft eraser, which you can do for shading, but I'm going to choose the hard, uh, hard eraser and I'm going to zoom in and to remove, oh, sorry, I had it locked. So you can't uh, remove something if the layer is locked, you have to unlock it. So this layer is not locked. We were in the previous layer before, sorry about that. So this layer, let me just remove Koyagichi, the mess I made while sprinkling my donuts. I'm using the hard eraser tool here. So yeah. I think I'm done. Like, what do you guys think? How do I see the comments, by the way? Okay, so uh, this is how I would create a donut on sketchbook, but Anything is possible. You can try and explore things. So I'm done with the uh, donut making. If I want to review, I just want to say I created layers. I locked the layers and I fill the colors in. And I just use the transform to uh, you know, place the things uh, where it's necessary. So it I just that's how I do it if I have to sum it up. So do you have any questions? If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment on the chat box. Pritha will be very happy to answer those for you. So how do you see the comments actually? Apu, how do you use a shadow if you want to? Oops. Sorry, can I get that again? Hello. Uh, I was talking. Okay, shadow, right? Yes, Apu. Okay. For shadow, I mean, can I actually use Corsionic shading? See a portion take to light, but if I want to show you, I would do it in another layer to show you. So no, Apu, not that. Mane, uh, hoche, to realistic jono, ita, to, to outer shadow thake. Oh, the black shadows. Yeah. Okay. Jabe. That for that, akhon shadow to ar upor ha na, uta ekdom niche ha. So for that, you have to go back to the first layer and background there. Upore act a layer, you see this plus sign, upore act a layer create kurtobe just so everything is above it. So, a layer, what you can do is take any smudge brush. I would recommend using um, the dusty airbrush brush uh, library page about, or you can use the soft airbrush. If I use a soft airbrush in this, I can select the black color over here and size uh, would probably take. Airform, like I guess this is okay, and opacity I have to call my duo just so it looks realistic. So just get a piece there. I would try to create a layer of shadow like this, like they kind of necessary I guess to create the shadow. But make sure create a. Uh, just so it doesn't get over it. 
So, AJ, that's about it. That's how you create a shadow. So I hope I could explain well. So, any more questions? Apu, donut take a plate to put a rack and say, Rakomki Koraja. Yeah, sure. So, Oita Kutte Hule, Akon, you have to draw a plate first. So, Oita Hoche, since uh, shadow moto in nature, thakbe, I can just uh, go back and background a rupor a drag for it. I would create another layer. And I'm not a good, uh, I'm not a uh, Kibogo. I don't know how to draw a plate. <laughs> Wait. I guess it would. I want the plate to look aqua blue, so brush nilam. So I'm going to choose this inky brush over here, and maybe wait. Uh, I have to use the stroke stabilizer just so our strokes are very smooth. So let's say I am creating this plate now. You see, so a plate, and then I'm going to fill. I'm on the last like layer at the niche over the background, and everything is above it. So I'm going to click fill. So I guess that's my plate. But if I want to shade things a bit, I may uh, would create a new layer over it. I can add this layer, but lock it and choose a darker blue tone and go over it. Size increase column and I guess uh, it's a chama rendition of a plate. <laughs> you can add more details over here. Like if I choose a circle um, on a new layer, uh, like this. Uh, wait. Oh. I'm on this. Uh, I have to choose the ink pen. And then I use the transform option. Oh, sorry. This is the thing I was talking about. If you try to move the, if you draw on the same layer, then Johan transform Korva, everything will just move with it. So you don't want that. So I'm going to click on undo and to create uh, on add layer. And there's the new Adler, which uh, I draw this circle that I click on transform and put a rim around it. And it don't make harsh like this, so I would just bring the opacity down to 22%, I guess. So I guess you got your answer how you can draw a plate afterwards, right? Um, Pritha, if you want to check out the chat, then there should be a small window above your screen. If you take your mouse there and click on the more section, you should be able to see the chat section. Yes, we have some questions coming up. Uh, I think Neetul has a question. Apu, any recommendation on stylus pen, which is more preferred between graphics pad and iPad for sketches and stuff? Well, uh, stylus pen, I mean, that came with my laptop, Lenovo stylus pen. I wouldn't say data could be bhalo, but the best stylus pen out there is probably Apple Pencil. But you can try out the Lenovo. Mm. I hope that answers Nitu's question. And please, if anyone has any question, please feel free to uh, either type it in the chat box or ask directly after unmuting your microphone. Can I just say that this is really pretty? It's not a question. But... <laughs> Thank you, Sadrina. My pleasure. 
So yeah, as I was saying, uh, sketch card you know, you can decrease the opacity to a minimum level. Then you will get a guideline on it, and you can actually shade like like pencil motto. Literally, you can just draw over it again and again and shade with the barbo and stuff. So that's how I do sketches on sketchbook. Anything uh, with the lower opacity, with a sketcher motto, catch probably will act as a guide. Then I want to talk about adding text to your images. Eta hotche amader 28 batcher fresher sir invitation card chulo. I created this on sketchbook. So 
এইটার জন্য what we have to do if you want to create any invitation cards or anything and add a text to your artworks তাহলে we have to click on this text option that we have to write anything that i want like you can just click tobe sorry just crash <laughs> so yeah as i was saying text option just write anything and you can use this transform tool to mar um uh, you know distort this separate this uh, tool is to move up and down horizontally vertically anywhere you want so that's about adding text ebhabei ami korchilam amader invitation card let me just go back and i did the designs with the symmetry like uh probably i used the um x symmetry just x i did of course and it just copied itself so that's about it now um q and a session if you have any more questions i'm very uh i'll be trying to answer them if you don't have any question i think we have a question in the chat box yes, uh, it's it's sheik abdullah bin alam bhai is there any layer limit in sketchbook there is no layer limit unlimited okay bhai says wow well. that's that's really amazing yeah if anyone has any other questions please feel free to unmute your microphone and ask preetha she will be very happy to answer them Okay, we have another question. Yes. I, hey. <laughs> uh, we have another question. Uh, yes. Can you show us how to shade skin? Skin. Okay. Okay. I can see the chat right now. Felix, wait. Uh, give that's me amazing. Second. Give me a second to read. My five-year-old cousin wants a vanilla donut. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah can i use custom brushes i don't think we have custom brushes in sketchbook like that's about it like no custom brushes like procreate but there are many brushes but i think you can create custom brushes like brushes sir uh it brush editor jodi jai then there are some brushes which you can uh customize on advanced option you can like this is all you can do like lighten the pressure or darken the pressure or create like create round you did a little bit rounder rotated i think this is how you can create a custom brush of your own so yeah apo how do you create hair texture hair texture acha for ami hair er jonno temon kono kichu like apado to banai nai aaj porjonto but i did try to draw brows so for that i simply use this inky brush i love this brush it am a favorite i always use this so what i do is first day i make a like outline kore feli for example um for example i want to draw a brow so this is my outline on layer 1 tab i choose a i decrease the opacity and i choose a new layer tab ami opacity ta are to barai and size are to comai i just create small strokes like this like this is i know on a tiresome but i think this is how you can create realistic looking hair like this is how i create hair like texture tapor there is also shading like shade korte paro So yeah, it is. I think on a simpler, on a size, like probably ten or eleven size, you can create nice hair like stroke. 
I think we have another question in the yes. chat box. Yes, please. Uh, if I may take it. Hello, Pritha. It's from Ashfaq. Hello, Pritha. Thank you for this wonderful session. What are your suggestions for people who want to get started with sketching from scratch, having no experience? Is it too late? It's not too late. I am just saying, sketchbook, like, do anything you want, like, Money explore the interface like choose shape Bangladesh it's all just uh, having fun with it like that's how I learned actually like digitally I never had any experience but like I just uh, ex explored it that's it I guess like have fun with it if they just main okay. thing. Thank you, Britha. If, we, if anyone has any other questions, please feel free to ask Britha. Did you like the donut, guys? <laughs> Pitha, yes. Are you already done with the mandala, or is there going to be another session? Mandala means uh, mini mandala for. Yeah. Yeah, I can uh, show you how to draw it, uh, like simpler actor mandala. Maybe. Yes, please. sure. So radial symmetry, as I said, symmetry, right. radial symmetry, and uh, eight is a good number. Then I will lock this layer. And it's a simple mandala judi um, I would choose the opacity to a hundred percent and size like pretty much chotoi ragbo. Sorry, I have this option on. I think that's about it. So what I do is I zoom in a lot, then I draw really huge art really huge size shapes like this. Like this is very random. I have no idea. Yeah, the see. All right. Then I zoom back and I check whether it looks all right. Like it will my first layer of mandala. So mm -hmm. for mandala, I don't really create too many layers because actor day you can just go back and forth and create shapes and designs. Are you can draw on one slice only. So it can have protector Milan or Kono Parani. So I think that's a plus. So and you can use a stroke stabilizer to make it smoother and more perfect. So I think Abhabe just you just continue. Just continue drawing shapes around it. And if you want to color, you choose the fill option. And then you can just fill in the oops, fill in the places and arecta genie shoche the fill option won't work if you leave a space in between like for example if i choose the symmetry option again ami hoche aklam ekta shape but i had this little gap over here that way je can ekta gap ache so fill option and dile this will cover the whole area like for that small gap over here so to just kill that just so you don't ruin the whole thing but you can always undo your uh, action so i guess the uh, idea of it show sabrina Okay, I'm going to read some comments. Uh, Acha, loved it, loved it. Uh, you made me hungry, but I just threw up Bella. Whoever did this. <laughs> Somebody drew on my screen. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll be taking more questions. Please ask if anyone has any questions. This is so funny, guys. Why did you draw on my screen? <laughs> 
with her. I'm sorry. I I was trying to swipe, but I did that. I'm sorry. I was just joking, by the way. It's okay. So, uh, if you don't have any more question, I will just continue. Uh, with, uh, uh, so, assessment. So, for the assessment, I would say just recreate the donut, like with your own style, with your own twist. Maybe change the color a bit. Maybe change up the sprinkles. Um, just do you. Same thing. Just do you. Recreate the donut, and uh, I guess the. Assignment submission link will be mailed to you if you're registered. So, and I do have a question for you guys. So, guess Koro, Jeta Kone platform Like, do you think this was drawn on sketchbook? By the way, these are not mine. Uh, I just want you to guess. So, please do guess. The right well, one was. Um, made using sketchbook. The right one. Okay. Are? Well, I'm I'm guessing both of them were made from Left sketchbook. one. I think one of the Adobe is really good. Left one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got some answer. Are? Keep guessing, guys. Yeah. Should I guess as well? Because probably I know the answer. If you know already, don't answer. I want others to answer. Okay. I guess you can break the suspense now. Nobody knows the answer. I think I uh, got so, an answer. Hand drawn. <laughs> okay. Well, Sheikh Abdullah is the artist, by the way. <laughs> but these are not hand drawn, by the way. These were done in. Uh, wait. So, Microsoft Arvin. This is the session we are going to uh, cover next. Uh, what on 19 June, I guess. Yeah, so stay tuned for this. Microsoft PowerPoint, and I never had any idea that Microsoft PowerPoint is mind blown. So, <laughs> this is super. So, slides banano jana Microsoft PowerPoint, I guess. I'm a donut So, stay tuned for the next session on 19 June and learn about it. So, I guess that's it. So thank you for watching. Please stay with me for so long and supporting me all the way through. Thank you. Thank you. So if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. I'm I got the hand of uh, chat box right now so I can answer you. You're very welcome. Bye. Thank you, Britha. I think that brings us uh, to the end of the session. Uh, thank you so much. It was a very insightful session for all of us. Thanks to everyone for staying with us till the end of the session. Thank you for your patience. We hope that you get to implement all the learnings from the session. And of course, stay in touch with us with your feedback and assessment. We hope to see you all on our next session. Keep an eye out on our event page for any latest updates. And if you happen to have any queries, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Okay, this is Communique signing off for today. Hi Stay guys. home, everyone. Wait, Thank and you, of course, this was Stay safe. I stop screen sharing and just turn on my video for a second and say bye. So, bye, guys. Bye bye. Bye, Take care. Thank you, yeah. Thank you everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye.